Hi guys, this is the tarot forecast for Libra for the month of July 2022. This can apply if you're a Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, Mars, as well as North Node. So be sure to check out the other uh, signs in case this reading does not resonate with you. I will be pulling out some more cards in case I want to clarify a few things. And uh, I do want to mention that I'm taking bookings for personal readings right now. So if you'd like to book a reading with me for a natal chart reading, a sinistry chart reading, or like a relationship compatibility, or if you just want to get um, a tarot card reading done, you can drop me a message on Facebook or email. Both the links are in the description box below. I also want to add that I've started a new program called Feminine Ascending. And as part of this program, I help you channel your lit. Sorry, I can't talk today. I help you channel your Lilith and Venus energies in your birth chart. So if this is something that interests you, you can contact me for a reading. And I also do personal counseling sessions, uh, like a one-on-one -on -one session for any specific challenges that you may be facing in your life. Okay, guys, so let's get started. Libra, quite a few cards that I pulled out for you. I'm going to show you the cards one by one. The first one is... The Three of Pentacles, it's coming up as an upright position. The second one, <coughs> excuse me, this, the second one is the Hierophant, it's coming up as a reversal. The third one is the Nine of Pentacles, it's a reversal. Next one is Temperance, it's coming up as a reversal. And then I'm getting the Wheel of Fortune, the Star. I don't know if you can see that. The Star and the Wheel of Fortune, both of these is an upright position, King of Cups is a reversal, and finally the High Priestess. <clears throat> so Libra, ah, uh, this is interesting. Hmm. It's a mixed bag of energies in the month of July. And you're definitely socializing a bit more than usual. I mean, you are a sociable sign. Uh, you're an air sign, you love uh, going out there and communicating with people. So I feel like July is definitely the month of, I'm picking up the energy of not so much socializing, but collaboration. Because the Three of Pentacles is not like uh, the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is more about the celebratory angle, you know, just socializing and enjoying life. But Three of Cups, uh, Three of Pentacles is more serious energy, like you're doing something together, like a task, a business. So maybe you're collaborating with different people to start a new business or something in your job where you are being required to collaborate with many people. So there's definitely that energy there. I feel like a lot of you are moving away from tradition or things that uh, maybe felt a bit archaic to you and you're no longer resonating with that anymore. The reason I'm saying that is because a Hierophant is coming up as a reversal. And, you know, Hierophant is very much related to um, tradition being quite conservative, conservative in the sense, doing things that um, is associated with the status quo and, you know, things that have worked well for us over the generations. And I think like a lot of you in the month of July, you may be shaking yourself free from some of those. You may realize that a lot of those things that you may have been conditioned to do because of your culture, because of you know your upbringing, or maybe it's just something you did in your family. I think some of those things you are doing away with, you're kind of breaking away from it because it, it somehow does not resonate with you anymore. Um, I will say, though, that there is a slight period of imbalance in the month of July that shows up before you start to get the true abundance coming your way. And I will do a clarification for this, but intuitively what I'm picking up on is it has uh, it has something to do with your own energy because the temperance is showing up as a reversal. And temperance is about balance, is about, um, you know, having an even keel when it comes to approaching life or doing things in your life because in the temperance the person has one foot on the land one foot in water and they're basically pouring water out of two cups it's it's very much about alignment and balance and just uh, keeping a level head about things um, it is the card of Sagittarius no doubt but then I think the greater message is about uh, you know having the middle path following the middle path and you know, not going overboard with something. And maybe that is lacking for some of you a little bit. 
um, I will do a clarification for this. Um, and another thing that I'm picking up on is the Nine of Pentacles, which came up as a reversal. So I feel like this Temperance and Nine of Pentacles are somehow connected to each other. I feel like uh, maybe your mindset is... Like there is a sense of lack that I'm picking up on for some of you. I don't think it will resonate with all of you. But for some of you, there is this energy of lacking something or feeling like you don't have enough or fee or it's more the energy of uh, feeling like you can't support yourself financially like that that feeling of not being independent financially yeah like that's the energy that i'm picking up on because the nine of pentacles in the upright position is the energy of self-sufficiency and being very financially stable all on your own having everything you need you know that the vibe of having a full pantry if if i can draw an analogy here but it's not really food related it's just that feeling of abundance you know and knowing that you have everything you need or that's required for you. Um, but I feel like the Temperance and Nine of Pentacles are connected in some way. I feel like uh, it's that feeling of lack or maybe going um, going overboard with something because of which you're feeling like you may not be able to support yourself or you may not have what you need to feel financially abundant or stable in your life. And it may have a lot to do, maybe it has to do with maybe overspending quite a bit, uh, going overboard in that regard. Or it could be um, being emotional about something, uh, being excessively emotional about something because of which it may be jeopardizing your stability. Um, and let me do actually, let me do a clarification on that. What, what is this temperance and nine of pentacles in reverse? Okay, so I got the nine of cups as a clarifier. Now the nine of cups is turned up as an upright position. So this tells me it's, it's like I said, it's connected to your, um, that sense of lack that you're feeling. It may be relative because I don't think it's something that is actually happening in your life. It's more like a mentality that you're having where you where you don't feel content with what you have right now, somehow. And I think the key to uh, making these two work in your favor is to feel like you have everything you need, that, that sense of gratitude, you know. Um, being in that Zen moment that you, you really have everything you need at the current moment and you don't need anything else in your life. When you can strike that energy level then I think that's when actually that's when the wheel of fortune shows up that's when the star shows up you know it's all good energy so it's it's kind of paradoxical because it, you know there's that saying right a boiling pot uh, sorry a watched pot never boils so I feel like it's about letting go letting go of the sense of discontent or feeling like you don't have enough or 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 just doubting your own capabilities that you you may not be able to stand on your own to feed or support yourself you know i think it's about letting go of that feeling it's very feeling oriented because again cups energy the nine of cups so it's about a feeling and once you let go of that feeling um it's really not that hard actually sometimes we overcomplicate things and libra you sometimes overthink quite a bit because you're an air sign and most of the air signs tend to do this quite a bit because you are you are cerebral in nature and I think it's really about just um, being in the moment and not over worrying and overthinking so much because once you're able to do that that's when the the abundance starts kicking in that's when the money starts coming in you know let's say it's a new job offer or many new job offers or let's say it's a new business opportunity or just money coming in you know all the, those good things start showing up when you start letting go of that attachment and uh, we also have the star card which is amazing and the star card is a wishful wish fulfillment card and um it's, it's also about a sense of vulnerability. The star is very much about shining in your own power. You know, sometimes we wish and manifest so many things, like we want certain things to manifest in our life. But when it actually starts showing up, or I would actually say, let's say you want to manifest something in your life, just as an example. And you are about to make some decisions or you're about to take some practical steps to actually start manifesting that in your life 
but you may falter at that instance because you may feel that uh, you know that feeling that you may not be worthy of it or feeling like will you be able to withstand it will you be able to adjust to whatever you're trying to manifest it's that imposter syndrome is that i'm picking up on you know feeling like you're not good enough for something that you subconsciously believe that you want and so i've seen this happen a lot of times a lot of people will want something to manifest something that is higher than what they are currently in the situation that they're in and when they actually need to make certain like take certain steps to make that happen those are some tough decisions those are not going to be easy decisions because the universe is really asking you are you serious about what you're trying to manifest uh, like are you really ready to take these steps in that direction uh, or do you believe you're not worth it you know it's kind of a test but the star it doesn't come easy like it's really about standing in your own power and as we approach leo season you know it is about shining like the sun it is about being very comfortable in what you want what you deserve and it's almost walking into the room like you expect it there is no self uh, you know there is no self doubt there is no second guessing in that so that requires a certain amount of guts and bravery on the inside and you cannot fake that because the universe sees through energy right very easily you can't fake that level of confidence it has to be a genuine level of confidence and it's not it's not cocky it's not egoistic you know it's a very self assured confidence that yes you know i am all that and a bag of, what is that what is that saying uh, i'm a bag of chips and all that right like you know having that mentality that you are all that and you command that presence when you walk into a room that is what the star is about you know so it's about stepping into that energy and that's when all the good things start coming into you because you're you're radiating in that frequency now i'm also seeing the king of cups coming up as a reversal i feel like uh, this is a romantic interest intuitively i'm picking up on a romantic interest could have been a scorpio in your life um uh, but this is past energy i feel like this could have been any water sign it could have been a cancer scorpio or pisces but this may have been a romantic connection and um they're probably not part of your life right now they may come back soon but right now you're not uh, entertaining them i'm seeing the high priestess and i feel like this is really the overall energy for you in the month of july where um it's about believing in yourself standing in your power the star card um and the high priestess is about intuitively knowing that what you deserve is coming to you so it's not about checking the pot and seeing if the water has boiled it's about knowing that you've set the pot for boiling the water and the water is going to boil eventually you don't have to keep checking on it you know that's uh, the energy of the high priestess it's very again it's very self assured energy it's not frantic it's not desperate in any way i'm not saying that you guys are desperate but i'm just giving an analogy that you know the high priestess is very much about laid back energy and just trusting trusting in the process and that can be really hard sometimes libra you're a cardinal sign you like to initiate things you don't like just sitting back and you know waiting for things to happen to you but this is not about being passive like don't mistake this card for being passive this is actually uh, being in tune so psychically that uh, um i don't know if you remember that scene from matrix right where morpheus tells neo stop trying to hit me and actually hit me right so it's kind of that energy where um you're not trying so hard you know the exact moment when to strike you know the exact moment when to take action but for now it's about sitting back and waiting for the right opportunity it's about being very aware uh and psychically attuned so that when the opportunity does show up you know exactly the precise moment to take action you know i hope that made sense so yeah those are your overall energies libra i will draw one more card i mean uh, overall messages from the keepers of the light oracle deck uh so let's look at your messages the first one i'm getting is kuthumi cloak of wisdom you already know the answer you seek trust what you know yeah so this is very similar to what i have been saying to you libra that is about trusting that what you seek is seeking you and it's about staying in your power you know that light that you are all of that and a bag of chips why wouldn't you be any other way you know so let's look at one more message we have el moria uh 
awakening presence the universe is with you wear a cloak of protection and love so yes the universe is on your side libra like it's just about you having to believe in yourself and not doubting yourself like those fears can creep in quite often but it's important that you stay the course and just keep believing in yourself and you will find a lot of um, synchronicities happening in the month of july so i hope that resonated with you do drop in a comment do give it a thumbs up your likes and comments help my videos stay relevant in the youtube algorithm so i really appreciate when you drop in a like uh, and if you haven't already do so do consider subscribing to my channel i post videos on tarot and astrology quite frequently and if you'd like to drop in um uh, you know if you'd like to get a booking with me for a reading drop me a message on facebook or email and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys